Welcome back to the Football Betting Tips and Strategies series. As always, before we jump into the video, don't forget to follow the Football Bank on Instagram and have notifications for stories turned on to get live tips straight to your phone. It's very important to have notifications turned on because I do post in-play bets to the story and you want to make sure that you can jump on those at the right time. Follow the Football Bank on Instagram. A popular bet to place and something I've become increasingly interested in is the both teams to score markets. Unlike your outright winner betting, where there are three outcomes, home win, draw, or away win, with both teams to score, there are only two options, yes or no. And by reducing the number of possible outcomes from three to two, you are increasing your chances of winning. Now, this is reflected in the odds, which we'll come on to later, but for bettors who prefer maybe a lower risk approach to betting, both teams to score is the ideal market. We're gonna look at four things. One, which leagues to target for both teams to score. Two, which factors we look at pre-game. Three, which factors we look at in-game. And four, how to play the odds. First thing to identify is which leagues both teams to score is more likely. There are two things to look at here when analyzing leagues, and that is the average number of goals scored in a game and the incidence of both teams scoring. These are some of the major leagues that I look at for both teams to score. So looking at the two factors that we were talking about, goals scored per 90 and both teams to score, these are where we're seeing a good number or what I would consider a good number uh, and looking at 2021-2022 data. So first up, we have got the Dutch Eredivisie with 2.88 goals scored per 90 and both teams to score uh, occurring 55% of the time. Next up, we've got the German league, so known for their kind of free-flowing attacking football, both the first and second division in Germany, uh, 3.12 and 2.92 goals scored per 90, with 61% and 57% both teams to score. Next up is the United States MLS. That's something that people who follow me on the Instagram will know that I, I like to do a lot of both teams to score betting on. Uh, usually there are a lot of crazy results in the MLS, but over the course of the season here, we see 2.78 goals scored per 90 and 59% both teams to score. Uh, then we've got Ligue 1 in France next with 2.81 goals scored per 90 and 55% both teams to score. Interestingly, France used to be a league where the number of goals scored in a game was actually quite low. I think in the last two years or two, two to three years, uh, I don't know what, what's changed. I think more teams are playing attacking football in France and that's really led to more goals uh, scored in games. So now it is one of the leagues that I do like to look at. And I think the bookmakers are still, haven't really priced it in the same way as the Bundesliga. I mean, obviously they wouldn't. The Bundesliga uh, has much higher number of goals, but I think you can find some real value in uh, the French league. Uh, then next up, we've got a name that I'm definitely going to butcher, but we've got the Norway Elite Syrian. I'm sure someone will uh, kindly correct me in the video, but very high number of goals scored per 90 there, 3.05, and both teams to score 60% of the time. So uh, it's if you're interested in the both teams to score market, it is definitely worth developing some knowledge of the Norwegian Premier Division, but also their second division as well, known as Division One. Um, there are a high number of goals scored in Norway. I couldn't tell you why. Um, I, I don't track it too closely, but uh, definitely one of interest for both teams to score betters. And the last one is the Italian Serie A, uh, 2.87 goal score per 90 with 56% both teams to score. So these are uh, some of the kind of major leagues that I think are good for both teams to score betting. And I just want you to take a mental snapshot before I switch over to some of the bad leagues of the numbers that we're looking at. So for goals per 90, we're looking in the range of, you know, 2.8, 2.9, that would be a, a good number of goals scored per 90. And then for both teams to score, anything above 55% uh, is generally what we'd like to see. Now we've got on the screen the leagues that I think are bad for both teams to score betting. Uh, and this is based on 2021-2022 data again. Uh, first up, we've got the English champ Championship. It's a league I always bet on and it always treats me badly, not even for both teams to score. 
I will say it time and time and again, it is the most unpredictable league in the world. Uh, completely stay away from it. The odds offered are so nice and there's a reason for that because you literally can't predict what's going to happen. But for both teams to score betting, it's a stay away. 2.5 goals per 90 and 49% both teams to score. Stay away from that league. Uh, next up is Syria, Brazil. One of the worst for in terms of goal scoring and therefore both teams to score. 2.22 goals per 90 and 45% both teams to score. If you're interested in this market, stay away from Brazil. Uh, another one is La Liga, interestingly. So you've got a, 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 one of the major European leagues there with 2.5 goals scored per 90 and 49% both teams to score. It's, it's interesting, you know, when, when players talk, players who have played in La Liga uh, and other European leagues, they talk about playing in Spain. They describe it as, you know, it's almost like a, a chess game. The, the game in Spain is very slow when you compare it to France, to Germany and the UK. Um, and I think because of that, it results in more lower scoring games. It, you, it, it's harder to create chances and because it's harder to create chances, it's harder to score, score goals. So La Liga is one to stay away from. Uh, another league on the list is Ligue 2. Uh, so it's the French Ligue 2 with 2.28 goals scored per 90 and 46% both teams to score. Uh, you know how we said on the on the, the good leagues to bet on how France had, the Ligue 1 had recently become a, a good league to bet on for both teams to score, whereas historically it used to be quite low. I think the, the lower divisions in France are actually still quite bad. Um, to bet on and, and that's reflected in the numbers. So maybe in the future League League uh, Do will catch up and it's something that you'll want to uh, look out for and get ahead of the bookmakers on if the the playing style from League uh, trickles down to the second division in France. Uh, and the last two leagues, I, I won't spend too long on this video, but you've got the Portuguese Liga Nos and the Argentinian Primera Division. Uh, you'll see the numbers there, not particularly great. Liga Nos is, you know, you could argue, um, could be in the mediocre category for both teams to score, but my history with it, I don't like to bet uh, in that league for both teams to score either. So. You know, those are some of the leagues that I'm, I think are good and bad for both teams to score betting. Uh, you can use the kind of range of indicators, maybe take an average of some of those numbers if you want to analyze other leagues. Thank you for watching the first part in this both teams to score mini series. Uh, the next videos should be uploaded shortly where we'll be looking at some of the other factors that were discussed at the start of this video. Thanks for watching and until next time, goodbye.